integrate 11 times the tangent of x times the natural log of cosine x. So this is a problem where if you're first trying to do it, it might not be obvious what to do. So let's go through the thought process. So first, if you let u be equal to the tangent of x, your derivative is going to be secant squared, so that will not work. The next thing you might think is, okay, maybe let u equal cosine. But then your derivative is negative sine. That's also probably not going to work. So a good idea would be to let u be this entire piece here. And the reason I say that is because the derivative of the natural log of x is 1 over x. Here it's the natural log of cosine, so we're going to have some type of chain rule action going on. So chances are, even if you can't do it in your head, if you just write it down and try it, it'll probably work. So let's try it. So u is equal to the natural log of cosine x. Let's find du. So the derivative of the natural log of x is 1 over x. So here it's 1 over cosine x times the derivative of the inside piece. So your inside piece is cosine, and its derivative is negative sine x. And then we have the dx. So sine over cosine is tangent, so which is perfect. So this is du equals negative tangent of x dx. So it works out amazingly. Now all you have to do is get rid of the negative 1. Also, there's an 11 here, so what you could do is you could multiply both sides by negative 11. Let's do that. So negative 11 du. Multiplying this side by negative 11 is going to make it a positive 11. And now we have precisely what we have in our integral. We have uh, 11 tan x dx. That's just negative 11 du. Let's go ahead and pull out that negative 11. We're left with this piece here, which is our u. Beautiful. du. Wow, that's so simple, it's confusing. Let me just go over it one more time, just in case. So this 11 tan x and this dx, okay, that's negative 11 du. Boom. And then this piece here is u. Now we just use the power rule. There's a 1 here. So this is negative 11 u squared over 2 plus c. So this is negative 11 halves. And then u was the natural log of cosine. So be really careful here. The whole thing is in parentheses. So you really want to be careful when you write your answer down because you have to have the parentheses around the whole thing. Okay. So if you were to write, let's say, this, it's not the same, right? Uh, you need that extra parentheses to indicate that the entire natural log of the cosine x is actually what's in fact um, being, being squared. So kind of a harder problem and again um, you just try stuff you know if you try u equal tan x and it doesn't work it's okay you know you just you just try something else um, after you do a bunch of these problems eventually you just look at this and you say okay well tan x is not going to work cosine x is not going to work let me just do this because there's some chain rule action going on here and that'll probably give us a tangent and and it did i hope this video has been helpful